What do I think of the latest progress report? Of Hearts of Iron or of Kaiserreich? Because the latest Kaiserreich is looking really, really cool because the uh, the latest one that they released was about Italy. So basically, Italy has been further chopped up and sections moved around. Uh, they've, they've changed quite a lot of it from there. First of all, the most obvious change is that socialist um, Italy is no longer in the south. It's now in the north, adjacent to France. So when the socialist Italy gets involved with anything then they're actually going to have french backing and the french are actually going to be able to do something to assist them there is the uh, italian federation itself which is now up here around venice that is a puppet government backed by austria i don't know if they're an actual puppet or if they're just strongly aligned towards austria i kind of suspect the latter um, but this is very much in the austrian sphere of influence now you then have the two sicilies which is the southern part down here and that's probably the strongest aspect of Italy at the moment is the most Italian. It, I think they're actually considered a um, nationalist Italian faction and they basically want to restore the prestige to the Italian nation. And then you have the Papal States based in Rome which I think are aligned with the Federation because basically after Italy fell in the First World War Austria tried to put a puppet king on the throne which was the Federation Two Sicilies said no, socialists rose up, Federation and the Pope fought against the two Sicilies with Austrian support to stop the communists from taking over the entire country. Meanwhile, the two Sicilies rose and tried to make Italy for the Italians. And then you've got Sardinia, which is like the New Ireland is the way I've been describing it from the way that they described it. It was untouched during the war, it's quite wealthy and it has entente financial support, so it looks set to really be the wealthiest and the most productive part of Italy, and it's an independent state. So yeah, loads of things going on in Italy at the moment, it's really quite exciting. And I like the changes, I think they're good. Blitz from Russia. Um, go through the Ukraine. I think I'm a little bit more concerned with how France does than I am with Russia. Russia is strong. It is big. It has space to retract if it needs to. Uh oh, someone else being released. This is probably Egypt. No, it wasn't. Was it Abyssinia? Nope. Abyssinia have actually survived throughout. Huh. Alright. Who was it that just got released then? Oh, someone else is being released. Oh, reorganized China just stole Fentiang from Russia. And Russia released Korea. Are you still a puppet? Yeah, you are still a French puppet. So the French have essentially just stolen that bit. Downfall and stability. Yeah, it's only temporary. It's fine. It's only 21 points away from being normal. Operational destruction, more air superiority. Marvellous! I think we do want some more agility for our fighters. So we'll go ahead and research that. 68 days until that technology is done, so we have time. Why has your line disappeared? Oh, right, because I sent you to go and garrison bit of England, just so I could have you ready for a naval invasion when it is time. Marvellous. And a whole load of infrastructure still being done. Okay, we're working on Texas now, which is excellent. Ah, oh, you know what we can do? We can shift our planes over. So I'm just going to go ahead and disband you, honestly. And then my Jets. I'm going to make you a 200 strength wing. We're going to have you shift over to here. Uh, 
to offer our support. And then if I have more aircraft that I can utilize. Oh yeah, I definitely will. The French cancelled their land lease. I just sent my planes to go and defend you, France. Grr. I think I'm going to use this airbase. Russia has declared war on Finland. Is Finland Middle Europa? It might be. I think it is, actually. I think Russia may have just kicked it off. Which is good, because I didn't... As much as I would have been happy to do it, I didn't particularly want it to be quite so... Um, artificial for me to do that job. So you can be air superiority and you can be interception. Cool. And that should be all the jets coming in. I think that you might well have been Middle Europa. You were! It's happened! Game on! Unfortunately, none of my ships are in place. Ah! Warships need Zorts in place. You need to be search and destroyering. There. And in fact, holding that area is going to be difficult too. So we're going to need to do some fancy shenanigans probably. And I would like you based out of London. And then my submarines. Aha! Of course, submarines. I can use them. Uh, currently in the Gulf of Guinea. You can go off to the Baltic. So convoy raiding. Baltic Sea. Based out of Newcastle. Actually, they're submarines. They, they, they should really be Skagness. Or, yeah, there. That is actually the British Naval Submarine Yard. There and there. And the British submarines are built here. In Barrow and Finesse. Which is just across the bay from where I went to university, and I know that. Alright, and there it is. We're at war. Middle Europa has begun. Of course Portugal will answer the call! That is a really stonking big navy though. I really hope you're not about to sink all of my transports, because I would be quite upset. This is going to be a disaster. Um, where are you guys? Oh, you've arrived already. Interesting. How have you arrived and they haven't? Oh, because they were never sent over here. Ah. Ah. Ah ha ha. All right, we'll send you over. Although, uh, a little bit concerned by the number of ships that they have just sitting here. Yeah, there are going to be some significant naval invasions, uh, naval battles going on. Any idea what I want to play after this game? Switzerland, perhaps? I'm actually thinking Siam. Oh, who's this? Here's my navy. Oh, that's... Zorts is my modern navy, right? Panda is my old one. A little bit concerned if they get into a fight. Less concerned if these guys get into a fight. They're all tier 3s and 4s. Mostly 4s, actually. Oh, speaking of navy, I need to start building mine again. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to cancel out you guys. And I have apparently lost a whole bunch of my factories for some reason. And also, all of my supplies. Okay. Australasia, you can sell me some more. Reorganized China, you can sell me some. Malaya is not going to. Sweden is. Korea is. Flanders is not. Germany definitely isn't. Greece is. Ireland is. And Chromium, this is where I'm going to be really sure. Ah, South, South Africa. We're really good friends with South Africa, so I'm more than happy to send them uh, factories in exchange for those goods. And Hungary, Siam, Netherlands. All right, now we have a bit of steel left over, but we're actually going to have another shortage as soon as our convoys stop being built. All right, naval battle number one. This are the submarines. My ships have not yet arrived. 
17 very, very modern ships. We probably will handle ourselves. I suspect that the German fleet is still ancient. Here we come. Never fear, Portugal's here. Plus, their fleet is actually mostly destroyers. Oh yeah, we're going to ruffle stump them. Fantastic. This this will be um, a true test of our abilities. So, how is this war going? Ukraine might actually be able to do some damage, because Ukraine is enormous. Yeah, Germany's definitely had a lot of time to get its stuff in order and fortify their borders. Alright, let's watch the naval battle. You're saying I'm going to lose this. They have battle cruisers and heavy cruisers, but so do I. Oh, that's probably just because my guys haven't actually arrived yet. See, they're still in the reserves. A couple of my light cruisers are in place. And as they arrive, that bar should go up and up and up and up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is a friggin' huge war. Here we go. Yeah! Portugal's here, bitches! Ha <laughs> ha Also, I just want to see what the diplomatic map mode is looking like right now. Like, the strong thing about Germany is how consolidated they are. With the exception of these bits. I mean, this stuff is probably going to fall fairly quickly, although don't underestimate the Alemannia Ostasian Gesellschaft. They have nothing in the Americas whatsoever, which we do. We have Russia. I mean, Russia is going to be the bludgeon. If we didn't have Russia, this would be a closer fight. Um, and the fact that Russia controls the corridor between these two sides does not help. There. Them. They should really have tried to take Galicia or Dominaria, although they are a Austrian puppet, which would have put them at war with the Austrians. Just going to be calling more, calling more, calling more. Alright. The first casualty of that naval engagement has occurred. Call for the Royal Canadian Fleet. No, call for the Portuguese Fleet. We're the hard hitters. Although we're only cruisers, don't underestimate us. Although that cruiser... I'm pointing at my screen like you can see that. That cruiser is not looking particularly healthy. They, yeah, they do have planes. Ah, one thing I can do, though, is I can grab my airplane to go support them in the sea. And we'll worry about France after. Right, they have got more ships coming in to reinforce, so now I am a little bit concerned, although my ships should be super quick. So it'll be in out. If, if we decide that we need to withdraw, we can withdraw. All right, we are sinking way more of their vessels than they are of us. Although my ships are only just getting to the firing lines. The light cruisers have been there for a while. The heavy cruisers are my big guns. They're my capitals. Uh, we are sinking lots and lots of them. One of my cruisers is gone. My cruisers are taking a, a, a beating now. They're having to withdraw. We have got more aircraft in the engagement. Alright, lots of planes are arriving on our side. Uh, French submarine gone. Canadian submarine gone. Their cruisers are just getting absolutely annihilated. Sorry, their destroyers are getting annihilated by my cruisers. And we're at equal numbers once again. Our numbers are rising. Here come the Canadians with their carriers. No other support ships, though, just carriers. So it's a good thing that my cruisers are here because they act as screens. Uh, we're losing more and more submarines, but that's fine. Ah, we're sinking heavy cruisers and battle cruisers now and not losing any of our own. So this is where my super modern technology comes in. They're, they're able to take what's given to them and say, please, sir, can I have some more? because he's still haven't beaten us, because we're hard. Um, and it looks like the Germans are trying to withdraw. In the face of a smaller fleet, the Germans are withdrawing. Because we're right up to the front line, they are not. I am very, very quick. So we should be able to chase down their injured ships and sink them. And there we go. The first naval victory of this war. We did lose one battleship, but they lost five battle cruisers, a battleship, 49 destroyers, which is going to absolutely ruin their... Uh, attempts to sink our submarines. The submarines will now be more effective. Seven heavy cruisers and eight light cruisers. And I lost one light cruiser from my fleet. Huzzah! Alright, next naval engagement. This is my fast ships finding their badly battered ships and trying to hunt them down. Although a couple of my ships are also looking a little bit worse for wear. Not gonna lie. And I'm really hoping that my fighters are able to shoot down theirs. Although it looks like planes which are in the area that are not directly on naval bombardment, don't get involved, which is annoying, because that's kind of what they're for. Alright, my one cruiser taking a few hits, but giving as good as he's getting, I'm sure. We have finished the Avro Guillermo's. 
which was Strategic Bomber. Still three years before we can get the Valente, so I'm not going to bother with that. We could get naval bombers and then start on carriers or something, but no. I really like my cruiser fleet, so we're just going to get some more aeroplane shooty shooties too, so that my uh, jets are rather more improved. Okay, here come more of my heavy cruisers coming to support. I I suspect we'll be in and then out again. More and more allied aircraft are arriving. So basically my cruisers are just acting as a forward spotting station at this point, I think. Taking them out. And we sank one of their heavy cruisers. My cruisers are withdrawing though. That cruiser is taking an absolute bludgeoning. Uh, it's just superior firepower. It's eight against two. Right, he's backing off. He's backing off. Heavy cruisers are quick though. These are modern. They move very, very fast. I think heavy cruisers are actually faster than light cruisers, if memory serves. Let's double check that. So the Angola is the heavy. You move at 33. Light cruiser moves at 34. Oh, they are slightly faster, but only slightly. Very, very slightly. How fast are battle cruisers? Battle cruisers have a maximum speed of 32, and battleships, 30. So light cruisers are the fastest. Beaten only by destroyers. Uh, Canada wants to send me some stuff. Thank you, Canada. So if we do lose naval superiority here, then I'm going to have to uh, get my ships and protect France, I think. Because, yeah, France is getting pushed back hard. Meanwhile, they have... Nope, nope. Russia is actually pushing their east front. Where are my guys? Right, I'm going to cancel your orders. I'm going to have you bolstering the French front. Because I'm feeling uncomfortable about going to England because I might just lose you there. So, most of my guys are mountaineers, so we're going to fight in the south. We're going to beef that area up. So, Paris... Well, Paris is pretty well fortified. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait until this naval engagement is over. They withdraw their ships to go and repair. I then send my tanks across the English Channel to go and reinforce. In fact, while that naval engagement's going on, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Let's come and help Paris. Something like that. You guys have finished training. Excellent. You can join that line. Okay, uh, French carriers are arriving. The carrier is actually going to probably sacrifice itself to allow my uh, cruisers to escape, so thank you for that. So, Zorts has detached. Main Zorts has not, but they're probably, yeah, they're almost certainly going back to port for repairs. My tanks are now making a dash for it across the English Channel, while the French are still keeping them in place, actually. I mean, we haven't sunk anything else. The Canadians are here. Lots of air aeroplanes. Uh, yes, we do have air superiority here. And now I would say that all of my aircraft, which are currently engaged in the English Channel, should now shift themselves back to northern France so that we can take out their encroaching forces here. All right, the tanks have landed. Go and get yourselves into position, please. And in fact, I'm going to say, don't worry about Paris. We're going to let the French worry about Paris. In fact, let's see if we can grab Calais. Meanwhile, my infantry are on the way. They are strategic moving. That's fine. Uh, these new tanks, you should all be strategic moving to about there. Because so you're still, like, in Portugal. All right, my tanks are on the move. We're going to try and nab Calais and Dunkirk as quickly as we can. French are doing a counterattack. And actually pushing the Germans back, so that's good. That unit's looking very weak, so we're going to send one of those to go and deal with him. Portuguese Navy, hunting you down and holding you in place for a hammering since 1936. Oh yes. Um, I'm going to let you recover before we go and attack across here. I mean, we've taken Calais, which is not actually the shipyards. Oh, we can take it. Okay, good. And you can assist in that attack to increase the front width. Meanwhile, down here in the south, Portuguese mountain troops, Portuguese commandos are arriving. 
bearing in mind our entire army is commando. Um, some more motorized. What are we lacking? We are lacking motorized, we are lacking light tanks. We have a lot of modern tanks. I wonder if we can start switching out the light tanks for moderns. Not really. We need to beef up our modern tank production so that we can overcome that deficit more quickly. Uh, I think we want to continue building those. Those are doing fine. Yeah, we've... Why are we not... Oh, st wow, okay. We have massive steel shortages. I had not realised how bad that was. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to overcome this without reducing our trade laws. Maybe we can try. Buying stuff really inefficiently, but hey, we have we have the industrial base to support this. So I am. Um, give me more. Give me more. 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 Austria. Oh dear, these rates are terrible. Yeah, I'm not trading a factory for one resource, thanks. How short are we? We're still minus 78. I mean, I don't have the political power to revoke my free trade. But I probably should do so at some point. If we go there and stop them, then we can take Lil without opposition. There we go. Except we are now defending a city with tanks, which is never smart. Okay, down here in the south, my troops are still pouring in. Hopefully we can get them back to the uh, the front line there. Paris is still under threat, but the French are doing a fairly good job of garrisoning it, so I'm not too concerned by that. I'm going to tell you to hold your attack. Lil is now holding out with his one tank. You're still pushing forwards with some uh, reinforcements, so are you. Um, fighting through forests here. I think I'm going to narrow my line so we're not worrying about the forests. We're just going to do that. Tanks in forest, by the way, is not a good idea. They're actually more effective at fighting in mountains than forest. Also, my front... My plan needs to shift slightly. Where's the end of it? There it is. I want you to go after Belgium. We're going to try and capitulate the Belgians. Like so. Uh, no, you would not attack that way. That's... Oh, why the hell are you turned around the wrong way? No, that's, that's a stupid plan. Don't do that plan. Do that plan instead. Much more effective. Marvellous. Okay. So down here in the south, once my troops have got their organisation back again, we will tell them to attack. Kind of the same thing up here. We'll just let them get their planning preparation stuff ready. Uh, we are short in light tanks, so my light tank divisions are going to be becoming less and less effective as time goes on. We do still have a lot of motorised artillery, which is good. Rocket artillery is a bit low. It's, it's basically just all the things. Is there anything that we can reduce production of which costs steel? Or chromium? I mean, we, we could reduce our ship production. As I'm going to assume that we have overwhelming naval superiority over the Germans once a massive fleets actually get into place. Um, actually, no, we don't. Well, that's interesting. Because the Entente has been at war for so long, our allied fleets are just a shadow of their former selves. So, we'll hold out. Oh, we're fighting again. The Canadians and the French. There are no Portuguese here. Uh, actually, yes, there is. So even though the Portuguese fleet is not actually in attendance right now, it's still commanded by the Portuguese and the Admiral. Manuel Ottens Torres de Betancourt. Betancourt, that sounds suspiciously English. Or French, Betancourt. Alright, tanks are doing their thing again, pushing in this way. You're attacking into forest, which sounds like a terrible idea. I actually want you going that way. There you go. And you can go there. And you two, once you've arrived, do this. Actually, go here, here, and then here.
Okay, French infantry are coming here to reinforce us. So we can use our tanks now more aggressively. Uh, my elite forces have more or less arrived, so I'm going to say go ahead and attack and see if we can throw them back a bit. And it looks like, yes, yes we can. Armoured forces here are not doing particularly well. They did manage to reinforce there, which is unfortunate. Uh, but we've pushed the line back, and now this is looking very, very vulnerable to a counter-attack, so I'm rather hoping that happens. In the meantime, I'm going to say stop attacking, because we don't have the tanks really to waste on that. And on the eastern front, um, of course we're fighting in Finland, although Norway is on our side, so we're actually hitting Finland from two, two angles. Three if you count St. Petersburg. Nope, oh, another naval engagement result. What happened? They lost a battle cruiser and a heavy cruiser. We lost a carrier, a light cruiser, and a couple of subs. Uh, no losses. No losses. Ah, oh, they're taking my convoys because we're because we're trading with all the people. The German navy here in the English Channel is trying to take out my convoys. Thankfully, I have actually done some convoy escort es research. So my convoys are a little bit harder to take down than they otherwise would be. And Air Force. Do we want to move one of my Air Forces to Benelux? I think we probably do. I'm going to grab you. Base you there and hit Benelux. Let's get air superiority up there. I mean, we're using jets. We're, we're going to have pretty effective aerial capabilities. Uh, that's... There was naval doctrine that we were in fact working on, so we can still get more destroyer organization and escort efficiency. It's escort efficiency that we're after. That is good. I think the tanks can probably do another push. Uh, nope, that is a terrible result. Don't do that. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Okay, so we really do need to replace our light tanks with moderns as soon as possible. I'm kind of surprised as it is as... I'm kind of a surprise it's as expensive as it is. How many artillery do we have? We are short on artillery, so we should probably... I'm, I'm basically just shifting these productions around as we need these items. Motorized and motorized rockets, I think we're... Oh no, motorized we're actually very short on. Uh, so we'll shift you to the top. Motorized rockets, we have plenty of support equipment. We have plenty of... I'm actually going to reduce you down a bit. So that we start producing some of those. Do we really need those? Probably not. Probably do need those though. Uh, we're still short on steel. And you're not getting built at all because you're not getting any of the resources you require. Let's stick that convoy to the top just so he gets done. Um, I think I might reduce my naval production. So that this stuff gets the supply that they need. Alright, landing craft is done. Not that we really need it anymore, but hey, I'll take it. And we may as well get advanced landing craft at this juncture. And you guys... Yeah, the east front's just fine. How's the far eastern front? Uh, AOG does not have as many troops as I'd expected them to. They're still volunteer only with 500,000 troops. Yeah, the AOG can hold for a while. Vietnam, less likely, because they're going to have all of the Indian troops swarming in. And what troops Siam's managed to produce. Turkey is an enemy, of course. So Russia is fighting on a lot of different fronts. Turkish front, Finnish front, Ukrainian front, Baltic front. 